This is the Spider Control i4.0 integration suite on PIX10. It's all about bridging the gap between IT and OT. So what are the i4.0 integration suite offerings? First of all, we have a full featured HTML5 SCADA system, which provides all drivers for industrial communication like OPC UA, Modbus, ISO and TCP and many more. We can provide connection to local IOs or also uh, locally running PLCs like codices or logicals. Of course, there is a historical trend and alarm logging function. And to design your HMIs, we have the powerful PC-based spider control HMI editor. But what's more to it? The next level SCADA means we'll not only connect data, we will connect functions. And to do so, we provide a browser-based functional block description programming tool. Now, this uh, Spider PLC uh, offers plenty of functional blocks to create your i4.0 integration by easy means. So there are basic binary and word logic functions. There is a couple of timers. There are functionalities for file handling, like copy, delete, network drive access, USB copy. We can do uh, file logging in CSV file, XML file, or any format you like. There is recipes, copy lists of values from a file to the SCADA PLC or vice versa. Uh, you can create consumption statistics. Um, there is functional blocks for process control, so you can start and stop other executables and know if they run or not. You can send pings to other network equipment and see uh, whether it works. You, there is a MQTT publish and subscribe functionality. Uh, we can read and communicate uh, with REST APIs in the cloud. You can generate PDF reports from a web HMI uh, containing uh, process data. You can send emails. There is a full features, very simple SQL database connectivity. We have data structure handling to copy and count, delete uh, complex structures. And you have the possibility to integrate your own script, well, like Python, Node.js, PHP, Node.red, and many more. Now, you have to see that. Uh, for getting started, just uh, enter the IP address of your PIX10 and the port 8080. And uh, so this start page will open up. You will see a couple of um, links to videos to have, uh, see the introduction to your i4.0 integration suite or um, the link to this video which you're just seeing um, to start the spider plc editor press here and this will open the uh, browser-based uh, editor so you can choose here for the spider plc or the hmi editor you will go for the spider plc and open this page uh, these are the sheets which implement all the uh, examples that we um, that are that come along with the pixend uh, you can open such a page uh, to go to enter the edit mode and to have a look at the tool. So here is the different libraries uh, that allow you for programming all these uh, features. And I will just go, uh, I will start directly the debugger. So when you make build and run, save, archive, you can start the debugger, which will allow us for um, seeing all the uh, functionality running. Uh, for each page we have here this uh, link to the Genie which will uh, open up um, a video on YouTube which explains the details. I'm not going into details, I'll just briefly show you what each page uh, is all about. So the first page uh, just accesses some uh, variables which here are linked directly to our Azure Cloud instance. Uh, and so this shows some basic logic and um, like string concatenation and binary logic. The second page is uh, for file operations, so you can copy and uh, delete um, a file or uh, copy a file to uh, a USB uh, path to a USB stick. We have uh, a page showing uh, CSV logging, so you can uh, log another line and open directly um, the CSV file uh, to see what happened. Um, going to next uh, page showing uh, recipes first. 
So this shows the operation with recipes. We have a couple of variables and the master CSV. Um, so you can uh, copy either the values of the variables to a CSV or vice versa. We have save and load recipe. We have operation with indexed arrays. So you can um, use uh, indexes of, of an array of struct or you can also assemble uh, a variable name. We have a page showing uh, how to calculate the periodic consumption, how to store um, values locally in the remnant um, storage, and to calculate the differences for each hour or day or whatever. Uh, next is a logic which uh, reads out um, a CSV file consisting of several rows and columns and writing it back to uh, an array. Uh, which is, is here just a um, triggered uh, cell by cell, the readouts per cell by cell. Uh, we here have an example how to start an external process. So this one here will start the node JS um, interpreter, which is uh, already pre installed on the PIX10, and it will also uh, perform um, little test functionality. So. It multiplies um, two values using uh, a Node.js, a JavaScript. We have uh, the same thing for our uh, microbrowser headless instance, which is used to read um, HMIs uh, to uh, prepare them for uh, generating uh, reports. And here we've also got uh, the ping functionality allows us for pinging external targets. Uh, next example is um, how to publish and subscribe with MQTT. Then we've got the sample which reads out the REST API from the cloud. So this will just read a couple of names. And this will show how to delete the complete uh, substructure inside the SCADA server. Um, then we'll have a sample which generates a report, as I said. So um, with uh, the integrated HMI editor, um, we can design um, a view. And uh, by calling this functionality, this will uh, create um, a PDF file from that. So I've started the reading, now it's converted to a PDF. Um, we'll copy it to a file in the web server and we'll open it. So this is our uh, PDF report. Uh, next sample is uh, sending of a mail, email uh, and the uh, concatenation of, uh, of the text. And the last sample here is how to access a database. So on the uh, pigstand we have a MySQL um, a MariahDB instance. Uh, this sample allows you to send, to read and write to the database by sending um, directly uh, SQL queries. So we hope you will find this thing useful. If you have any questions, just uh, contact us. Um, thank you very much for watching.